Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. So I uh, just finished doing a video about light and magnetism and whatnot, and uh, got on here and I started reading this article. I wanted to share it with you guys because uh, people always talk about the unbreakable laws of physics, which has become kind of a joke these days. But uh, this one's called Taming Mavericks. Stanford researchers use synthetic magnetism to control light. And uh, I'm going to read this article because I find it fascinating. Um, basically, we already knew that crystals had um, a strong use in power and energy, but uh, as for controlling light, this is a new approach, and it's kind of interesting. So it says, Stanford researchers in physics and engineering have demonstrated that a device produces a synthetic magnetism to exert a virtual force on photons similar to the effect of magnets on electrons. The advance could yield a new class of nanoscale applications that use light instead of electricity. Magnetically speaking, photons are the mavericks of the engineering world. Lacking electrical charge, they are free to run even in the most intense magnetic fields, but all that may soon change. In a paper published in Nature Photonics, an inter interdisciplinary team from Stanford University reports that it has created a device that tames the flow of photons with synthetic magnetism. The process breaks a key law of physics known as the time reversal symmetry of light and could yield an entirely new class of devices that use light instead of electricity for applications ranging from accelerators and microscopes to speedier on-ship communications. This is a fundamentally new way to manipulate light flow. It represents a richness of photon control not seen before, said Shandui Fan, a professor of engineering at Stanford. The ability to use magnetic fields to redirect electrons is a founding principle of electronics. But a corollary for photons had not been previously existed. When an electron approaches a magnetic field, it meets resistance and opts to follow the path of least effort, traveling in a circular motion around the field. Similarly, this new device sends photons in a circular motion around the synthetic magnetic field. The Stanford solution capitalizes on recent research into photonic crystals, materials that can confine and release photons. To fashion their device, the team members created a grid of tiny cavities etched in silicon, forming the photonic crystal. By precisely applying electric current to the grid, they can control, or harmonically tune, as the researchers say, the photonic crystal to synthesize magnetism and exert virtual force upon photons. The researchers refer to the synthetic magnetism as an effective magnetic field. The researchers report that they were able to alter the radius of a photon's trajectory by varying the electrical current applied to the photonic crystal, and by manipulating the speed of the photons as they entered the system. In fashioning their device, the team has broken what is known in physics as the time reversal symmetry of light. Breaking time reversal symmetry, in essence, introduces a charge on the photons that reacts to the magnetic field the way an electron would to a real magnetic field. For engineers, it means that a photon traveling forward will have different properties than when it's traveling backward. The researchers said, and this yields promising technical possibilities, the breaking of time reversal symmetry is crucial as it opens up novel ways to control light. We can, for instance, completely prevent light from traveling backward to eliminate reflection, said Fan. Um, I'm not going to read the rest of it. It's a, just a little explanation about it. I'll just read the end here. It says, in essence, once a photon enters the new device, it cannot go back. This quality, the researchers believe, will be the key to future applications of the technology as it eliminates disorders such as signal loss common to fiber optics and other light control mechanisms. Okay, so now this article to me, I still have to process this, but um, that's fascinating to me. I've heard the, you know this so many times, you know, we're trying to deny these laws of physics can be broken. and. Uh, they tend to <laughs> throw us for a loop quite often. But um, it's my thought that we're talking about crystals that store light, okay? And light is information. So we have <laughs> these crystals that are being created where we can store light and information that won't reflect the light. The implications of that to me um, are nothing new. I've always believed that crystals hold energy, but I've never quite uh, been able to understand how it works, which I still don't, but um, I thought this article might shed a little bit of light on our future of energy. And we talk about different ways to harness power, you know, nuclear and atomic energy. We've got, you know, burning coal and solar and wind and 
wave energy, but what if we can really harness just direct photons for our energy? That would be the most direct application. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I guess I'll just leave it at that. So, anyway, everybody take care now. I'm out.